1 Corinthians 7. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote to me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render to the wife benevolence, and likewise also the wife to the husband. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. And likewise also husband hath not power of his own body, but the wife. Be fraud not one another, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. Come together again, that Satan tempt ye not for your incontinency. But I speak this by permission and not of commandment. For I would that all men were even as I myself. But every man hath his proper gift of God. One after this manner, and another after that. I say, therefore, to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I. But if they cannot contain, let them marry. For it is better to marry than to burn. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord. Let not the wife depart from her husband. But if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband. And let not the husband put away his wife. But to the rest, speak. I, not the Lord, if any brother hath a wife that believes not, she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. And the woman who has a husband that believes not, pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Elsewhere, your children unclean. But now they are holy. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or sister is not under bondage in such cases. God hath called us to peace. For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Or how knowest, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? But as God hath distributed to every man, as the Lord hath called, Every one, so let him walk, and so ordain I in all churches. Is any man called being circumcised? Let him not become uncircumcised. Is any man called in uncircumcision? Let him not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing the keeping of the commandments of God. Let 
every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Art thou called being a servant? Care not for it, but if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. For he that is called in the Lord, being servant, is the Lord's freeman. Likewise also he that is called, being free, is Christ's servant. Ye are bought with a price. Be not the servants of men, brethren, that every man wherein he is called therein abide with God. Now concerning virgins, I have no commandment of the Lord. Yet I give my judgment as one that hath obtained mercy of the Lord to be faithful. I suppose, therefore, that this is good for the present distress, I say, that it is good for a man so to be. Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosed. Art thou loosed from a wife? Seek not a wife. But if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she hath not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. But I spare you. This I say, brethren, that the time is short. It remains that both they that have wives be as though they have none. And they that weep as though they wept not. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. And they that buy as though they possess not. And they that use this world as not abusing it. For the fashion of this world passes away. But I would have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried carries for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But he that is married cares for the things of the world, how he may please his wife. There is difference also between a wife and a virgin. An unmarried woman cares for the things of the Lord she may be holy, both in body and in spirit. She that is married cares for the things of the world, how she may please her husband. This I speak for your own profit, not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. But if any man thinks he behaves himself uncomely toward his virgin, if she pass the flower of her age and need so require, let him do what he will. He sins not. Let them marry. Nevertheless, he that stands steadfast in his heart, having no necessity, but hath power over his own will, and hath so decreed in his heart that he will keep his virgin, does well. So then, he that gives her in marriage does well, but he that gives her not in marriage does better. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband lives. But if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married, to whom she will. 
only in the Lord. But she is happier if she so abide after my judgment. And I think also that I have the Spirit of God. 